Hello friends. So we just moved from where this where the shoe was over there to this square that you see over here. Now this where the square was is where the Jewish ghetto was. It's all, it was all destroyed in 1520, filled up and covered over. Now before we're going to talk about that, let's think about the people that were that that that, that lived here and worked here. So as we discussed from the early Balatoises that, that learned here, everything was nice and dandy, everybody was, was, commerce was fine, everything was fine. So much so is that even that the Jews suffered by the Crusades like we spoke, we had no Jews were killed by the Crusades, they were all forcibly baptized and they were let to go back by, Hen by Henry IV. And then they, again in, in, the, in 1298, all over here in, Est in Austria, the Jews were killed by the Nine Fleisch massacres, not in Regensburg, Regensburg was, was, was spared, 1350. The Black Death, all other communities suffered terribly, and the Jews were blamed for it, not in Legensburg. Legensburg had special status. Even the locals knew the, the value of the Jews, so they, uh, they, didn't, uh, they, didn't, they didn't hurt them. But after the Black Death, starts, start, starts the difficult period. Why? Because after the, after the Black Death, a lot of money was needed needed by the by, by by the authorities now the jews were taxed three times they were taxed by the king the emperor as property of the king they were taxed by the local uh, dukes because they as the local citizens and they were also taxed ta taxed by the bishops for ecclesi the from the church so they had to pay three times that paid they had to pay uh, tax now after after the black death the money was very much in demand, and what's the source, the easiest source? The Jews. So, who are they going to go after? So they all started taxing the Jews, not very extensively, it was terrible how the, the taxation that was going on. So much so is that the Jews were left uh, in a very dire, very, very dire situation. This was the end of the 14th century. Now starts the 15th century. In the 15th century, since the Jews are not anymore, they were taxed to almost to, 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 to being penniless, and the Jews were, um, so the, the locals and the bishops, they started uh, going against the Jews, speaking um, anti-Jewish sermons, because there weren't, there weren't any more so much in need. And that their, their privileges were also taken from them. The Jews were left only to, with, with money lending and nothing else. Um, another, another terrible episode that happened in the early 15th century was the, the episode of Simon of Trent. That was a, a blood libel that implicated also 17 Jews of Regensburg that, they had a, that the people of Trent were supposed to uh, kill a, 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 a non-Jewish non child for the blood for the matzahs and they had to send some of the blood to Regensburg for the 17 people and they were, they were imprisoned. It took the four years they were in prison until King Ferdinand um, let them uh, the third yeah let Ferdinand the third let them let, let them go four years later but this this whole story of Simon of Trent a lot of the a lot of the locals were started believing it don't forget those times the locals weren't very literate and stuff whatever they heard got fired up and they started hearing how the Jews are the devil and they uh, they worship they 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 eat blood from matzahs and stuff like that so. The, the Jews start losing their favor in the eyes of the of the locals. This all culminated to what's to 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 such a point is that the locals wanted to get rid of the Jews that are living here and have them expelled, but in the eyes of the king, it was too much too much of a revenue to lose, and he didn't let it happen. Maximilian, as long as he was alive, didn't want it didn't want it happening. But and they knew the the, the day that Maximilian dies. Then he's gone because the city council was ready for it. The dukes, were ready. everybody was ready, but the king Maximil didn't want to let. And then 1520, 1519, I think it was, or 1520, I'm not sure myself. Maximilian dies, and uh, when he dies, they give the city council gathers together, and they give the Jews five days to get to get to get packing. And this, the second they get packing, they they completely destroyed this, the the shul, and they completely destroyed all their homes. And uh, and that was that was that, that was the end of Chorben. It was called Chorben Regensburg. Why? Because Regensburg was 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 the last, longest, 
strongest community to survive. It survived all of the whole Middle Ages. And with that, with that time, it came, it came to an end.